Raphael, a skilled restorer of ancient art, was commissioned to rejuvenate a forgotten painting found in the catacombs beneath Vienna. The artwork depicted a luxurious chamber adorned with red velvet drapes. A masked figure lurked in the corner, his intent shrouded in mystery. The longer Raphael stared at the painting, the more he felt the figure's gaze pierce through him, beckoning him into its world. One evening, as shadows played on the canvas, Raphael's hand brushed against the painting. Suddenly, he found himself inside the red velvet chamber. Lush draperies surrounded him, their texture almost alive. Somewhere, the faint seductive strains of a violin played. As Raphael wandered, he stumbled upon clandestine gatherings, masked revelers whispering secrets and trading forbidden artifacts. Each room bore witnesses to indulgences of the senses, wine, music, and unspeakable desires. Yet the masked figure from the painting always remained just out of reach. Desperate to unravel the enigma, Raphael found himself drawn to a room where a forbidden dance of passion and power took place. He met Isolde, a dancer with eyes that held centuries of secrets. She spoke of the chamber's curse and the loop of decadence that trapped souls. Each night in the chamber was an endless masquerade. Leaving was impossible unless one unveiled the identity of the masked figure. Together, Isolde and Raphael embarked on a quest through the ever-shifting rooms, seeking clues about the masked entity's identity. They encountered lovers from history, doomed to repeat their tragic tales, Cleopatra, Salome, and more. Yet, with each revelation, the pair realized that the masked figure was not a person, but an embodiment of insatiable longing. To escape, they had to resist the allure of the chamber and acknowledge their deepest, darkest desires. One night, in the heart of the chamber, Raphael and Isolde confronted their own reflections, revealing raw, unmasked truths. The chamber began to crumble as they faced their fears and embraced their truths. The endless masquerade started to dissipate. With newfound clarity, the duo navigated the maze of rooms, each step leading them closer to the painting's entrance. The masked figure, once an ominous presence, now appeared pitiful and lost, forever bound by its insatiable desires. Hand in hand, Raphael and Isolde stepped into the painting, emerging in the real world, forever changed by their ordeal. The painting, however, was altered. The masked figure was gone, replaced by two intertwined forms, a testament to their journey. Raphael, with a newfound respect for art's power, decided to keep the painting, a constant reminder of his adventure and the love he found. Whispers of the painting's magic spread, drawing collectors and curators, all hoping to experience its allure. But Raphael, having witnessed its power, refused to let anyone near it, fearing they'd be consumed by its depths. Years passed, and the legend of the Red Velvet Chamber became a story told in hushed tones in Vienna's art circles. Raphael and Isolde, forever bound by their journey, became guardians of forbidden stories, protectors of art that held too much power. The painting, however, had one last secret. In the right light, one could see faint outlines of other faces, perhaps souls still trapped within. Raphael often wondered about the fate of those left behind, forever imprisoned in the Velvet Abyss. But he knew that some mysteries were best left unsolved, their allure lying in the unknown. And so the painting of the Red Velvet Chamber remained a silent witness to a world of passion, longing, and forbidden desires. It stands as a testament to art's power to transport us, to confront us with our deepest fears, and to remind us of love's transformative energy.